Hello learners, this is Akash. I completed my B.Tech from NIT Rorkela in the year 2020. Currently, I am a mathematics teacher. Now, let's see how to solve this given question. Here, the points are concyclic. Okay, 2, 0, 0, 1, 4, 5 and 0, C are concyclic. If that is the case, then we have to find out the value of C, this small c. Now, how we are going to do it is first, the strategy is that I am going to find out the equation of circle passing through the first three points. Okay, and then once I get the equation of circle, I am going to substitute this four point, fourth point so that I can get the value of C. As simple as that. Okay. Now let's get started. Okay, I'm taking the first point as A, second point as B, third point as C, and fourth point as D. Fine. Uh, and the equation to the through the points A, B, C, V. As I mentioned, first I'm going to find the equation of the circle passing passing through the points A, B, and C. I'm taking it as x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2 square plus c equal to the standard form. Fine. Now listen. Now since this circle, since, since this circle is passing through A, B, and C, that means uh, a, B and C lie on that circle. Basically, A, B and C satisfy this equation. Fine. So, first I am going to substitute the, uh, the coordinates of A in this. Because A lies on the circle. It naturally satisfies this equation. Circle passes through A 2, 0. So, in place of X and Y, put 2 and 0. Okay. Wherever X is there, put 2. And wherever Y is there, put 0. That's what you have. Okay. Now, 2 square is 4 and 0 square is 0. And 2 in, 2G into 2 is 4G. 2F into 0 is... 0 and plus c so if you solve it this is my first equation all good now next uh, now the circle passes through b 0 comma 1 as well okay like this i'm going to substitute three points like first point is done second point now another ne next another point so in, again in our in our basic equation in place of x and y put the values of uh, put the values of uh, b i mean uh, put the coordinates of b 0 and 1 okay so in place of x 0 in place of y 1 so if you'll do that, this is what I'll get: zero square plus one square plus two g into zero plus two over one plus c equal to zero. Now solve it. This is what you'll get: one plus two f plus c equal to zero. Mark it as equation two. Now next, in our this same equation, okay, in our the same equation, I'm going to substitute the point c, okay. So if I were to substitute that, the circle passes through four comma five, so four square plus five square plus two g into four. This is there in front of you, fine. So substitute it. Uh, I mean, now solve it. I mean, <coughs> if you solve it, 4 square is 16, 5 square is 25, and 8g, 2, 2f into 5 is 10f, like that. 16 plus 25 is 41. So, this is my third equation. All good. Now, I got the three equations. Fine. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to subtract, I'm go what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do equation 2 minus equation 1, and next equation 3 minus equation 2. Why C? There are three unknowns and I have three equations. G, F, C. I need to find out. So first, I'm going to eliminate C, then I'm going to solve for G and F, fine? That's my strategy. So, equation 2 minus equation 1, equation 2 was this, equation 1 was this. Now, I'm subtracting, okay? Just make sure, okay, I'm subtracting. So, make sure, please remember that there is going to be a change of sign. So, there's actually going to be minus 1 because like, subtraction is there. 4 minus 1 is 3. Likewise, now next, you, you observe 4G, there is no g term in the second equation so 4g will 4g minus 0 is 4g only now next listen here there is no f term in the first equation now in this in this uh, here i have uh, two if you see it's two but there is a minus sign actually so it's minus two so zero minus two f is minus two and c minus c they cancel out that's done now i'm going to write this in uh, a good form basically g f and c so first 4g minus 2f plus 3 equal to zero this is going to be my fourth equation now next I'm going to do equation 3 minus equation 2. If I were to do that, this is my equation 3, this is my equation 2. Okay, now subtract it. Okay, 41 minus, basically 41 minus 1 is 40. That's what I'd get. And then, okay. And then 8g, my, there is nothing to subtract. So 8g minus 0. So 8g comes as it is next. 10f, here I have 2f. Okay, okay. 10f minus 2f. So what I'd get? 8f. And c minus c, it's gone. So write it in the standard form like g f and z so 8g plus 8f plus 40 equal to 0 don't just leave it as it is take 8 common because we don't want such big numbers 8 and 40 take 8 common if you'll take 8 common so you'll get g plus f plus 5 because 8 5 are 40 now send this 8 here 0 by 8 is 0 okay so g plus f plus 5 equal to 0 this you mark it as equation 5 okay now next now if you remember we got fourth equation before and now i got the fifth equation what I what we basically need to do is we need to solve the fourth and fifth equation so that I can get the value of G and F. Okay. Chal. Okay, sorry, the animation came a bit last. It should have come before. Next. 
so this was this was my question four this was my question five okay fine now the method which i'm going to use uh, to solve is this one okay i'm going to write g f1 like this and then first i'll start with the coefficient coefficient of f okay the coefficient of f is minus two and then three next four then minus two fine now in the second equation coefficient of f is one and then five and then again one because coefficient of g is one and then again another one okay. i'm using this method something like crisscross uh, you could do either elimination method or substitution method your wish you could use anything to get the value of g and f fine that is up to you i felt that this is easier because it's a standard one which you could apply for me for any of the you know linear solving of linear equations so that's fine it's fine so first g divided by minus 2 into 5 minus 1 into 3 like this in minus of this product so g by minus 2 into 5 is minus 10 minus uh, 1 into 3 is 3 okay this is nothing but equal to f by 3 into 1 minus 5 into 4 so 3 minus 20 is nothing but 1 divided by 4 into 1 which is nothing but 4 minus of 1 into minus 2 is minus 2 4 minus of minus 2 okay be careful about that these signs are important so minus 10 minus 3 is minus 13 and 3 minus 20 is minus 17 and this will be nothing but 4 plus 2 okay 4 plus 2 minus into minus is plus so g by minus 13 is equal to f by minus 16 is equal to 1 by 6 all good now next uh, since these three are equal first i'm going to take g by minus 13 is 1 by 6 next f by minus 17 is 1 by 6 why so that i can get uh, g and f independently so just set this minus 13 here and send this minus 17 here so g is minus 13 by 6 and f is minus 17 by 6 all good now next so i got g and f my next target is to get c okay now how we are going to get it is substitute it any one of the equations i generally prefer uh, i've used the first equation here uh, in equation 1 2 or 3 put these values of g and f so that you would get value of c in our circle the equation okay not the c which they have asked in the question okay not that c fine so from 1 this is the first equation if you remember so substitute the value of g g is minus 13 by 6 just put it so now you see everything is a number except c so ultimately if i'll solve it i'm going to get c okay now here if you were to solve it a little uh this two twos are two threes are okay so if you were to do that so 2 into minus 13 is minus 20 minus 26 and by 3 is there so 4 minus 26 by 3 plus c now take lcm uh, now take lcm okay so 3 will come like 4 into 3 and 3 into c so 4 these are 12 minus 26 plus 3 c by 3 send this 3 here so it's going it's going to 0 into something now next 12 minus 26 is minus 14 so minus 14 plus 3 c will be 0 as i said this 3 if it will go there 0 into 3 is 0 now minus 14 plus 3c is equal to 0 now send the 14 uh, send this minus 14 here so 3c is equal to 14 c is 14 by 3. fine this is this is not the c that they asked in the question this is basically the c for our circles equation okay now substitute we got g we got f we got c okay now substitute all these three in the circles equation fine if you were to do that the required equation of the circle is this what did we take our circles equation as x square plus y square plus 2g x plus 2f y plus c equal to 0 right so in place of g minus 13 by 6 in place of f minus 17 by 6 and in place of c i have 14 by 3 which i got just now okay i know this is going a bit bit lengthy in fact after this also some working is there but stay please stay with me because this method i feel is simpler even though i know this is a little lengthy fine please stay with me so here again so Two ones are two threes are and here also two ones are two threes are so minus 13 uh, 13 x by 3 and minus 17 y by 3 so okay this is what i have now again take lcm as 3 okay take lcm as 3 or you could what you could do is multiply this entire equation with 3 okay each term of this equation gets multiplied by 3 so then what i get is this 3x square plus 3y square the new 3 and this 3 will get cancelled with cancel so i'll get uh, 13x and that 3 will get cancelled and uh, as i mentioned if you multi multiply each of the terms with 3 this is what you get so when i got the circle equation okay but here the question does not end we need to find the value of the c which they are asking in the question fine so substitute since c since the given four points are concyclic the fourth point lies on this circle this circle which i just got okay 
So the what was our fourth point? Zero comma c. Just substitute it here. D zero comma c in the above equation because it satisfies since D also lies on the circle. So zero comma c put it in this equation. In this equation, wherever you see x put zero and y you put c. So I would get this. Okay. <coughs> so uh, what I would get is three c square minus seventeen c plus fourteen equal to zero. Now okay. Now how to solve this? Better is to use the formula method like uh, c is nothing but minus and like uh, I'm sure you guys remember this formula like x is equal to minus b plus or minus under root b square minus 4ac by 2a. Okay, this is the one which I have used. Okay, this is the one which I have used. So here, if you observe, here a is 3. And uh, b is minus seventeen, and uh, c is fourteen. Okay. Okay. So minus b. So minus of minus seventeen. Okay. And then plus or minus under root b square minus four. So b is minus seventeen also minus four into three into fourteen. Okay. By two a. A is three. Fine. I guess you got it. What formula I used and how I got this one here. Okay. Chalo. So minus into minus is plus. So minus of minus is plus. So This will be 17 plus or minus 17 square is 218 and 4 threes are 12. 12 into 14 is 168. Okay, now 289 minus 168 is 121. So 17 plus or minus root 121. Root 121 is 11. So I get c is equal to 17 plus or minus 11 by 6. Now first 17 plus 11 by 6 and then 17 minus 11 by 6. So 17 plus 11 is 28. 28 by 6 comma 6 by 6. So 14 by 3 and 1. That's it. Thank you very much for staying with me up till now. I know this might have gone a bit lengthy, but really thank you very much, much for staying with me up till now. Not just this. Like if you have any other request for any other question or topic which you want me to cover from intermediate mathematics, please put it in the comments box. Okay, so that uh, I can help you out there. And uh, not just this question. I have made many other questions related to circles. Please check out the description so that you can find various playlists uh, that are made by me, like theory of equations, binomial theorem. The circles is there, and I'm planning to uh, do other things as well. I mean, other chapters as well. So I also already made some questions from quadratic expressions. So many of the things I have already covered. So you can go through them, and your requests also you can just put them. Fine. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. It will encourage me to make many more of such videos. And if this is your first time coming across to my channel, please just subscribe to it. Thank you.